keep it down. Consider it done. Much ado to you, Casita. If you are looking for Ferrante, he is presiding over the Consuelo from his chair. You will find it elsewise. How might I be of assistance? The Consuelo will need to vote on it. But with your reputation, and if you vanquished Ben with, as appears to be the case, I do believe you are the most qualified to take his... I will speak with Ferrante so that he may con... You have my ear, Casita. Of what do you wish to... Yes, our Council of Captains. There are seven seats on the Consuelo each occupied by a high-ranking captain within the Principe. Seat holders can... To claim a seat, a captain must have substantial backing and sufficient power, both politically and physically. Ferrante, the last Marcheso, holds the highest-ranking seat because, as you can guess, the Sea Wolf, Aldis, commands the second most numerous fleet of ships. As such, she is the second chair, and I am the third. Perhaps you would like to attend the proceedings when the Consuelo next convenes. I met Ferrante decades ago. Many years I sailed as his first mate before building my own humble fleet. When in the Principe, do as the Valians do. Unless, of course, you have no care for tradition or the continued sustainability of our way of life. Like some filthy new blood. You may have noticed a divide between old blood and the new. By which I mean those who descended from or otherwise hold old Valia in... And the varied enough and uncouth recruits we have since brought into the fold. I assure you, the latter was supremely by necessity. Though perhaps I am ill-equipped to throw stones. As a casita of some repute, you will be most welcome in the king's coffin. But you should watch yourself throughout the Radiant Court. Ah, watcher. Good, you have arrived. Ahoy there yourself, Captain. Or do I be but a pretty bit of man-meat to dangle from a wrist? Is easily forgotten is set aside. A little seabird informs me that you have dealt with our mutual problem, the scoundrel Benwet. I hear you have a flair for the dramatic, or should I say, explosive antics? A magnificent way to settle one's disputes, indeed. Gelarde, for this you have my grand... You'd have been right amused, you would. Few sights as fine as that hard blowing three-sheeter getting what's long been doing. You are lacking in so many ways, my former ship hunter, that no one can say you are not entertaining. I, myself, would have enjoyed watching you put this scoundrel in his place. That he did. Indeed. And as promised, I have prepared for you a fine prize. However, there is another matter of which we... I must confess to you a bit of a problem has arisen, one which speaks to your expertise with the supernatural.
We've sighted the floating hangman that haunts the dead fire. Indeed, and I will say, this galleon, what likely remains of the Von Ferros, is a frightful legend. We have been losing ships at sea, Aimiko, and not to those Valera ship-hunting bastards. I believe the floating hangman may be our culprit. Fortune favors us, as I have procured a survivor from such a recent sinking. You will consider what she has to say. Come forth, Selenia. Quickly now, or I will run rivers of your lethargic blood. Well, spit it out, Selenia, and try not to embarrass me before our guest. Of course, Captain. It might have pretty hard near the end, but I spit the tail as best as I can. Go on, gent. I'm ready as I'm like to get me. Quite what I expected, Watcher. You're kinder than most. Saw my old crew slaughtered me, my best mates, and even a few I hated. They weren't but blood and meat in the end. It branded the back of my eyes that moment. High seas, nothing but blue all around. Then Mist so was a hunt, not for loot, but for bodies. The ship, it looked... Rotted. The crew, they were all undead. Couldn't stop them from boarding. Couldn't kill them. Couldn't even fight them in the end. They were dreadful. Some were clothed, like maybe they'd only recently died. Others weren't more than moving bones. One was different. Her presence was overwhelming. Heavy. Flames burned in the... The crew shambled hard to do her bidding, even the ones who seemed hardly aware. Figured she was the captain, me. There is a flag the floating hangman flies. A flag that once heralded the Von Ferris of Old Velia. It belonged to our Darkotsi paladin of some ledge, but Selenia's knowledge is limited in this regard. Let us instead ask her of a subject she may know. Me and my crew were adept. Alert. Always. No, weren't was some magic foul. Just sudden light. The winds died. The waters fell flat and the air got heavy. They turned sky and the sea both against us. Then this thick fog roiled up at midday. Without a sound, the spectre ship skimmed dry right out. It was too late. Deny me. Drifted for days, maybe longer. Kept winking in and out after I ran out of drink. One of mine found her no more than a week ago. Malnourished, dehydrated. The poor girl. Well, I'm more than able to gavel now, aren't I? Could sail, too. No, you got no reason to keep me. Perhaps there is something else you wish to ask of our guest before she departs from us. Calling me Craven? <laughs> sure, I am. Took a knock in and I was out for a while. When I came to, they were eating Ganasco. I dropped a dinghy and rode for it. Don't know why they didn't give chase. Don't much care me. She belongs to Aldis, who undoubtedly will come to claim her soon. But that is a problem for another time. One moment, Watcher. Mm. 
Allow me to cut to the heart of it. Lucia Rivan, whose flag flies atop our spectral ship, was a Dakotsi Paladin. It is my hope that uncovering the details regarding dear Rivan's fate in life may illuminate the nature of her undeath and how to defeat her galleon. Unfortunately, the only soul who could possibly shine more light on our situation lies buried deep within Neketaka. One Isir the Berethian, now well rotted, I presume. Indeed, I do. Though I and mine cannot so openly venture to the depths of Neketaka, nor can we commune with the dead, you, Watcher, are adept. You must search the Temple of Berath on Neketaka's sacred stair. Isir's tomb within it should contain a chronicle for how and where he slayed our paladin, Rivan. Regrettably, I know little but this. He was an Adiran warrior priest of Berath, and a significantly fervent one. He chased our Dakotsi to the Deadfire, hunting her too. Shortly after slaughtering our brave paladin, the priest died, possibly of sickness, or perhaps he was entombed in honor of his service to Berath in Neketaka's sacred stair. By all accounts, our Rivan was a Darkotsi paladin who sailed to the Deadfire in order to safeguard a royal weapon. She is the epitome of grand valour, of magnificence, honour and duty. Living or undead, she strives still to serve her charge. And yet, we know not why, but a Baratheon priest called Isir opposed our Rivan, and fiercely. They fought to the death, Rivan's to be precise, in the along with her life. Rivan lost the sword she had sworn to protect. It has, lamentably, remained unfindable since. I believe it may be why she searches the seas yet. Kelarde, do return when you've any lead that may navigate us to where the floating hangman. I will be waiting. Not a problem.